It is time for Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports. The break is over. Now we find out if the streak can roll on. The host Trailblazers lost last night, but that was then. And this is now. And this is the second half of the run to the postseason. Chilly night in Portland, Oregon. The Miami Heat arrive with the NBA's longest active winning streak. And the night hope to pick up where they left off with their eight straight wins leading them into the All-Star break. And welcome everybody inside the sold out Rose Garden for the all meeting this season between the 27 and 7 Heat and the 18 and 17 Portland Trailblazers. And we always hope you enjoy every bounce and basket right along with us. Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports when he plays against them. He is a heat killer, notorious heat killer. Crawford has always played well against Miami no matter what uniform he's wearing. When he sees heat, we see Crawford at his best. And since joining the starting lineup in Portland, he's averaging 19 points a game. And there's Aldridge, a tough cover. He leads the Blazers in scoring and rebounding. Had 20 points with nine rebounds in their loss at Denver a night ago. The Heat will double him. He'll be the focus of Miami's defense. Battier plays the three, his fifth start this year, and start number 624 in his NBA career. And LeBron James, the NBA's number three scorer, will start at the four spot. LeBron is the leading scorer in the NBA on the road, and the night returns to a Rose Garden where he's always played very well. It's the Heat and the Trailblazers, and it's all next, right here on Sun Sports. What motivates me? Watching LeBron do what he does. LeBron. You run out of superlatives for this young man. What gets my juices flowing? Still trailing. LeBron pulling up and burying it. Portland up by six. LeBron on the drive. It counts. We need a new thesaurus, Eric, to describe what he's doing here. Getting on a roll. Nothing like getting hot. LeBron for three. Yes! Oh, my. What gets me excited? LeBron for three. Double! The incredible LeBron James. Coming through for my team when it matters most. LeBron for three. Yes! LeBron James, you are amazing! <laughs> Time for our starting lineups brought to you by Cleveland Clinic, Florida. Crawford, Batum, Camby, Aldridge, and Wallace go for Coach McMillan for your Miami Heat and the Portland native, Eric Spolster. A little bit of a change as Chris Bosch is away from the team on bereavement leave. Therefore, in the starting lineup goes Shane Battier with LeBron James and Joel Anthony in the backcourt. Your usual starting guards, the very efficient Mario Chalmers and Dwayne Wade. Because of his efficient production in the first half of this truncated season, we ask LeBron James to step into the Sun Sports Spotlight. Look at these numbers. This is just ridiculous. Number three in scoring in the league. Number five in shooting in the league. That's 55% people. There isn't a player in the NBA even close to that type of abundant precision. By the way, his three-point field goal percentage and rebounds per game totals are both career highs as well for Coach Spo. This is all extra special because it's coming within the flow of the offense, which more than not is the direct result of tenacious defense, which LeBron is a key component of thus far. For all the metric fans out there, James is on pace to have the most efficient season in NBA history. Now, Wilt in 62-63 and MJ in 87-88 are considered the best player efficiency rated seasons of all time. James is ahead of those two all-time greats as we speak with space as it pertains to the numbers. This if season at the top of NBA history for any individual player efficiency, that's saying something. Let's now say it is time to ball y'all. Back to the floor we go for the call. It's the coach, Tony Fiorentino, and the television voice of your Miami Heat, Eric Reed. Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, shadow boxing time, Jax. Good evening to you and to the Heat Nation out there looking on here at the Rose Garden where LeBron James puts the powder in the air and gets ready for basketball. LeBron James here at the Rose Garden has been incredible, averaging 30 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists lifetime. And remember, LeBron had 44 here last year in the Heat's overtime win. He also had a triple-double in this building back in 2005. 
Tonight, the 178th consecutive sellout at the Rose Garden. Over 20,000 fans on hand. A sellout streak that began here in Portland back in December of 2007. A beautiful city, a great basketball marketplace, and we should have a terrific game. Tonight's tip of the game is being delivered to you by Papa John's. And our officiating crew assigned to work tonight's contest. The crew chief is Bill Kennedy, and he's joined by Eric Dalen and J.T. Orr. Only meeting this season, and it's the only season with just one game between the Heat and the Trailblazers. They didn't play at all in the 98-99 50-game lockout shortened season, and they've split the two-game season series two straight years, and Miami's last two wins. Coming in to block this shot, there was a mismatch. Batum was in there against Chalmers. And Joel noticed it, came over to him a 6 8. Thomas six. down by eight. They've come back with a 12 4 run, and nothing tilts the floor in Miami's favor like defense. The best fast break in the NBA. Yabba dabba dunk. Now you can see why the Heat lead the NBA in points off turnovers. Throw it down, LeBron. The open man. Well, he had a big on him, so he knows somebody's open. You see how they switch. He's going to go down low. He's got a big coming to help. You see Udonis moving without the ball. He had very two, apparently, is enough. And you can see the strategy tonight by Coach Fulcher. He's going to try to keep either Wade or LeBron on the floor at all times. Without Chris Bosch here, he waits scoring inside. And watch it again against the zone. Here comes Joel with the screen. And then the defense doesn't come over really to pick up Dwayne. The last time when in, in, in a previous and game. LeBron right here. He was making Jays from about three or four feet behind that line before the game started in the pregame workouts. He's so big and strong and so confident in that shot. And we know he made what six in the all. See the state right of the art fast break. Look at yes. the deflection by Chalmers and watch this ball move. Four guys touch this ball for the Heat. Did not touch the ground. You can't have. Whether you get the maximum benefits if you renew your seats by Monday's early bird deadline. They'll lock in your pricing for the first two rounds of the playoffs. Give you food and beverage credits based on your tenure and an extended seven-month payment plan. If you want to know more. Call your account service rep at 786-777-1400. Yes, the Heat Nation knows no boundaries. Wherever we go, that's what we see all across this great country. Fans in every city donning their Miami Heat gear. But right now, we're wishing only the best to Heat fans back in South Florida. When the Heat needed a basket, what happened? Wade gets the ball back, and with a shot clock winding down, from Beaverton, Oregon, LeBron <laughs> delivers. <laughs> Eric, thank you very much. Of course, once again, our heart felt condolences to Chris Bosch and his family for the loss of his grandmother and because of that you all had to elevate what you were doing you talked about it this morning what specifically were you all doing as a group yeah well first of all like you said um, you know we want to send our loves um, you know to Chris and, and the Bosch family you know on their loss and today we just try to come out and you know without our brother a big part of our team uh, we had to come in and fill a void you know we had to have a lot of guys step up and do a job so we can't replace the Chris Bosch but um you know, our guys did a good job today of coming in and filling in for them. And you all, we talked about this actually on Sunday in Orlando, then again this morning about protecting this streak and being able to come back and play the way you all were playing and then both things take care of one another. Is that the way you all approached it? Yeah, you know, we just continue to approach it the same way. You know, continue to play team basketball, understanding uh, what helps us win. And, you know, after the first time out, we was down three rebounds. Um, and that was our key. You know, let's get on the glass. These guys are alone. Um, they're athletic, but we got to get on the glass. So once we took care of that, the game kind of, you know, turned in our favor. I asked you all if behind the back, you know, alley-oop type craziness. No, LeBron, you can stay. Stay. No, no, hang on for a second because this, this involves you just a little bit. The, and I asked Dwayne about, you know, you go behind the back. He throws the alley-oop on Sunday at All-Star. Crusher down. Dwayne very simply said, well, we do that all the time. Okay, well, today you came up with another one. A nice little right hook alley oop for the cram down right there. I don't even think he looked. He peeked. He didn't. He didn't look though. He seen it was my shoes trailing behind half court. I seen him running, so I said, "Oh, we got one." And, and you knew it the whole the whole time. I imagine that that was going up into the sky. Oh, yeah, we we to a point where uh, you know we never stop running unless we out of bounds. So uh, and sometimes D Wade even might have a layup and he get two points, but you know he like to highlight real, and uh, I'm happy to be a part of it. 
Well, tomorrow we're going to ask uh, the fans on Twitter their favorite connection between you two over the last year and a half. Oh, man. What's your favorite? Our timelines might blow up. We might finally get some people on Twitter to follow us. <laughs> you have a favorite? I don't know. Give me by tomorrow. Give me by tomorrow, Jack. I'll have a tomorrow. tomorrow Jack. Think about Indy's it. a good one, gentlemen. I mean, that's not a bad one. Best of all time, but we've had some, you know. I wish I could have dunked that one in Indy. My legs weren't feeling too good there. <laughs> good evening, gentlemen. We'll see you in Salt Lake City. I love when they break it down, you know, particularly after they've gone for, what is that, 71 combined points between those two? My goodness, it is a final, 107-93. One more time. You just get to look at it. That would be number six flying through the air, getting some things done for your Miami Heat. The people might have left the building, but they're cramming in to see number three and number six as they walk out, get on the bus, and fly to Salt Lake City. First time this year, hopefully not the last, they both reach at least 30 in the same game. Yeah, Dwayne Wade picking up the slack early. 22 points in the first half. Do it in a lot of different ways. You saw the pull back dribble, the step back Jay, the posting up and going to the basket and just taking people all night and uh, got the heat off to that great start. As I said, after that slow start of uh, being down 16 to eight, as you mentioned, you got to love the way Wade and his teammates responded both defensively and then attacking on the offensive end. For Dwayne Wade tonight was his third double double this season and his fourth game with 30 points or more. He did a masterpiece. Uh, 13 to 22 from the floor 10 to 12 from the foul line 11 rebounds six assists five steals and no turnovers. That's incredible in 41 minutes. It's amazing how much he's handling the ball now, bringing that turnover total, turnover total down for him. But he's scoring again, just like D-Way, scoring a lot of different ways, made a couple of threes. When uh, Portland was coming back, you could see that, that signature block from behind. But when Portland was starting to come back late in that game, boy, he buried that long three to stifle the momentum they had took the uh, wind out of both Portland and the fans. I'm glad you pointed out LeBron with zero turnovers tonight. You know, he has 21 turnovers in the last 10 games. That's just a little, a smidge over two turnovers a game. He's cut his turnovers in half over the last 10 games. And Udonis Haslam, Tony had 11 first half rebounds. Mr. Blue Collar kept that hard hat on all night. Eric, this is part of the genius of uh, Eric Spolstra. Did not want to start Udonis Haslam, so he plays so well off the bench. Leading rebounder of anybody who hasn't started a game in the NBA this season. Keep him in his, his real role that he that he's, is familiar with. And boy, what a game he had. You saw the block shot, you saw the 14 rebounds, hitting the J. I mean, just, you can't play a better game off the bench than LeBron, than, than, uh, than Udonis did with uh, the defense and the rebounding and everything else that he brought to the table. Just an outstanding game. Scoring 11 points, 14 rebounds, and 27 minutes of play. Haslam's fourth double-double. And for the Heat fans that stayed up till 1.30 in the morning, you witness history. Again, I'm going to give you the numbers. LeBron James, 38 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists, 5 steals, a block shot, no turnovers. He is the first Heat player in 24 years to ever reach those numbers in a game. what they wanted to do. They picked up right where they left off preceding the All-Star break. So Miami takes that nine-game winning streak to Salt Lake City. We'll see you tomorrow night, the Heat and the Jazz. If you want to watch a replay of tonight's game, tune in to Sun Sports tomorrow at noon. You can watch the Heat pummel the Blazers all over again. And we'll see you tomorrow night, beginning with Heat Live at 8.30. For our entire crew, including the coach and Jason Jackson, I'm Eric Reed. We can't thank you enough for enjoying another great win with us. Good night, South Florida. Sleep well. And here's your final take.
on the table.